what's fun about it is that it's effortless because it's almost just like what the inside of my brain looks like. So it's kind of just taking the world that I already inhabit and making it so that other people can see it. Lo que me gusta es dar una imagen que estéticamente sea armoniosa y, y, y le guste a la gente, pero al final que eso los ponga a pensar, ¿no? Creo que eso es lo que me gusta escuchar de alguien que tiene un cuadro mío o una pintura mía. My idea is to take that comic book culture and the baseball card culture and kind of like incorporate it and take these baseball players and make them larger than life like superheroes. I hope to bring smiles to faces. I said before we even started this, this interview, I, I, I love sunshine. I hope that this can truly become a time machine that can just bring joy. That's, that's my ultimate goal, is to bring joy to the people who see these. The one thing that has changed is now I'm going for those experiences. What are people gonna feel when they receive the card and open it up for the first time? Like, how can I really make somebody's experience like memorable and say, wow, so glad that I bought this card. Can I get a mic check? Mic check, mic check. Creative approach has changed just a little bit. I'm a little bit more unapologetic with just my use of color. I want these cars to feel loud. I want them to feel exciting. I want them to feel like Chuck is back raw and uncut. One thing that I wanted to do is just make this set feel prestigious, pristine, where the foil is placed on the diamond and how, you know, the border is like that foil treatment. I want people to feel like, oh, this is a classy, clean, almost like holding a piece that you would find in like a jewelry store almost, you know what I mean? It's one of those series that I'm gonna look back at and say, I'm glad that I stuck with this design choice. I'm glad I stuck with this color pattern. And I think it is gonna become like one of my favorite series. To be the first Project 70 artist to come and join the Project 100, I'm not gonna lie, man. I feel I feel like I'm stunting a little bit. You know what I mean? I, I feel I feel like yeah, man. We we made it. You know what I mean? Like like last year, I still brag about beating Snoop, and I say that in the most respectful way. Who am I to beat Snoop Dogg and outselling cards? So for me, that is my little small corner championship. I'm gonna pop my bottle just off the fact that man, I outsold Snoop Dogg, who I love his music and what he done for the culture, and to accomplish that and then also come back for Project 100. It just means the world to me that, you know, my art, my professionalism is that well respected, that my connection to the fans is well received and acknowledged, and I'm trusted to represent the hobby, represent the culture, represent just the overall sport of baseball in a very dope way that hasn't really been seen or touched on. And so I'm here, man. Salute to all y'all that didn't make it. I'll represent y'all well, man. My check, my check, checks in the mail. For me, it's just a translation of taking heroes and taking my childhood and like current baseball players and like kind of like smashing that together in the sense of visually you're creating something that's iconic because I think everyone knows superheroes nowadays, like Marvel Comics and DC Comics, like it's mainstream now, where when I was growing up, it was so underground. I think my style is pretty distinct with the black line and the color palette. It's similar to the obviously 80s graphics of skateboarding, Thrasher Magazine, Santa Cruz Skateboards. That is the tying thread with all the different projects that I do because it's in essence really the Lamore style, I call it. It's something that was the influence of my childhood, my teens, and then even as an adult, I'm still incorporating influences that I'm being inspired by every day.
Well, in a way, just doing this is kind of like going down in history. So I feel like it's quite the honor to even be asked to do it because if you look at baseball cards, it's a linear marking of people, players, influences, and like stats. So, you know, this is kind of like a blockchain in a way because what was released is kind of like a history of baseball, but now you're incorporating art into it. So now artists are getting to be involved in this blockchain or like history of baseball cards. For me, it's just kind of like a continuation of when a collector finds out about me, I don't really want to tell them the whole thing. The fun part is like finding out all the stuff that I've done beforehand and realizing it and having that aha moment of like, oh, cool. Now I got to collect them all. Hola, hola. Mic check. <laughs> Me considero una persona eh, como multitask, eh, como que siento que soy, que tengo mucha eh, hiperactividad y siento que necesito estar haciendo muchas cosas a la vez. Eh, creo que eso es lo que me ha llevado a hacer demasiadas disciplinas de, en mi trabajo, pero poco a poco también, eh, digo, ya tengo 35 años y quizás la energía de hace 10 años ya no es la misma y ahorita todo ese aprendizaje de, de estar haciendo muchas cosas hace 10 años, 15 años, ahorita me ha, me ha ayudado a, a enfocarme más en mi trabajo, ¿no? que, que sé que prefiero estar 5 horas pintando un canvas que estar haciendo muchas cosas a la vez. ¿no? Para mí es, es diferente ¿no? como tener la, como esta misión de que se vea el, el personaje, se vea la cara de alguien que mucha gente en, en, en Estados Unidos conoce. Eh, para mí era súper, eh, o sea, yo no conozco ninguno de estos jugadores y para mí era como, bueno, vamos a dibujar arriba de estos jugadores. Quizás eso me dio mucha libertad de, de no pensar eh, tan serio o ponerme como, ah, tengo que hacer algo súper especial. Y creo que el reto era eso, ¿no? Como, bueno, ¿Cómo lo hago que, que para mí se sienta bien y, y no tenga como alguna traba como para decir esto lo estoy haciendo mal o lo estoy haciendo de alguna forma diferente? Pero casi siempre cuando yo trabajo en este tipo de comisiones, pues sí, lo primero es yo me tengo que divertir y yo tengo que estar tranquilo. Y si eso después eh, da un trabajo que se ve y se siente como ah, esto se ve muy natural, quizá eso es porque justo no. Al final para mí yo me sentí muy tranquilo dibujándolo y, y se ve en el trabajo final. Eh, para mí siempre es como un reto quizás eh, traducir mi trabajo personal de ilustración a una comisión, en este caso una, una tarjeta de colección. Nunca me había imaginado poder llegar a hacer eso, pero también para mí es un reto ¿no? poder transmitir la personalidad de un jugador en, en un formato tan pequeño eh, y que encima de eso se vea mi estilo y mi trabajo, eso es creo que parte del reto, ¿no? más allá de, de hacer algo diferente, creo que lo que me gusta es, es intentar hacer nuevas cosas. ¿no? So Lauren, just to start, would you mind giving us a brief introduction, who you are and where you're from? Cool. I'm Lauren Martin. I'm an illustrator from New York City. I've been illustrating professionally for a few years now. I have memories of drawing in preschool. I know that I would constantly get in trouble in elementary school for drawing instead of listening. I was a really bad student because I had like kind of a one-track mind for art, but luckily I had some good teachers who saw that I wasn't just wasting my time. I do like drawing from reality, so taking from my older style of portrait painting, but also kind of still life, I really do love realism, but turning that into something kind of magical. So I love the idea of like a carrot having a personality or like a scene that you could see in real life, but it's different than what you would normally see. I just really like the idea of magically kind of transforming the everyday. I am from a family of baseball fans and my dad grew up uh, loving baseball. My brother played baseball. 
so I love watching the sport and I think it's a great sport. So it does sink in to me that I'm doing something really cool because when I tell my dad I'm doing it and he knows what I'm talking about and thinks that it's cool too, then I'm like, okay, I'm doing something really legendary right now. I hope that people find that my art brings them joy like it does me. I love to make people laugh. I love the idea of adding humor into baseball cards because I've personally never really seen a baseball card that's like funny. So yeah, this idea of like kind of a crossover of funny, silly art with a sport that isn't injected with humor often. So I hope that people find my art is light and makes them feel good. Check, sorry. check, check. check. <laughs>curious what came first, baseball or art? The art came first ever ever since I can remember even, in, and even before that I've always been drawing and sometimes on kitchen doors and kitchen tables but I've always been making and then maybe six, seven, eight years old I just fell in love with baseball and then from then on I just meshed those worlds together and I've been doing that ever since really. I certainly explored a lot of styles and mediums, trained in the classic way to do things, painting and drawing, and spent so much time with pencils and brushes on canvas and introduced digital tools later, but kind of the, the pandemic really had me reflecting and going back, and, and especially after my father had passed, I did a lot of reflecting and kind of going back to kind of where, where I came from and what was, what was important to me and when was it important to me. And, and as a kid, I had two spheres. It was baseball and comic books. Third, if you add art to that, and just going back to those basics, those roots, just combining all those things together, and, and those are the things I loved the most at that age. What is a baseball card to you? What I really love about the recent Tops projects is they're reintroducing the fact that there is art in baseball cards. If there's a design to it, it's been designed. There's so much that is almost hidden in there, the, the typography, the layout, the, the colors. Those, those are things that sometimes can get missed, that they are art. And so this project has reintroduced that and kind of almost changed the levels of that presence of the artwork. So I love that reintroduction and I love the reimagining of what art is and what it can be on a baseball card. It's not just a photograph and a name. It's, it's a design, it's a plan, it's an intention.